Hi everybody, it's Dr. Linda Kramer and it's Sunday the 6th of February. So guess what today is? It's Tarot Day! Oh my goodness! You know, this morning I was talking to the lovely, lovely Anna Knapp on... I'll just tell you where she lives first. She lives in Wisconsin, USA. And I'm in Brisbane, Australia. So if you look at the world globe, she's here and I'm here. Okay. Actually, she's more up here and I'm down here on the total opposite side of the planet. So as I was talking to her this morning, having a lovely good morning chat, which is afternoon for her the night before, I said, darling, I've got a multi-skill. So if you don't mind, I'm going to pull out today's cards for Tarot Day. So... Anna was my witness and I shuffled the cards as I do and the first one that I got told to do was the little little lovey-dovey cards. Then I got told to do my tarot, then I got told to do the lovely artwork and the beautiful inspirational quotes by Louise Benton. So here are Louise, is Louise's information, her link is in the description below if you do want to go and buy a pack of her cards, okay? So I'll just show you the lovely artwork that she does on all the cards. They're all different. They're all unique. Okay, it's a beautiful set and well worth the money if you're considering buying it. So the only thing that I haven't done today, because I've got my three cards, is my Ruin card. <clears throat> my Ruin Stone, I should say. So, as I did with Anna this morning, I put out my intention to the world of what the world needs to hear for the next seven days. So as I look at the calendar here on my computer, so today's spread is from the 6th, which is Sunday the 6th of February 2022, and it goes through until Saturday the 12th of February 2022. So <clears throat> anything that the universe wants us to hear. So I shuffle, 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 and I put my hand in, and I say the intention, all I want is one stone that represents what the whole world needs to hear. Oh, it's that one, that one I'm getting drawn to. Okay. Oh, X. I think we've had the X before. So I'll put him here and I'll put my stones away so I don't get them confused. Okay, so let's start with my lovey-dovey cards first, the one that I got told this morning to do first. Love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy. So, <clears throat> what does this mean? Love smiles at every opportunity. So straight away there with what's happening on the globe, darling, guys and girls and darlings, I call everybody darling excuse that um what is happening all over the world now is we're having mass protests mass people are now standing up and it's not whether they believe in something that the government is offering or a mandate or anything it's it's not just representing one certain thing that goes in the arm here because a lot of these people that are now standing up have had that thing in their arm okay so it's not about that at all. It's about now looking at the research and the data of how many people have been truly sick over the past two years. How much lies and deceit. You know, this goes back to 2001 where my great, 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 great grandmother, when I died, when I was talking to her, she said there will be so many lies and deceit. There will be so many falsehoods about what really is occurring here. So, you know, now that they're reassessing the actual deaths, you know, in the first half of 2022, those figures are staggeringly lower than what was reported. <clears throat> so people are now waking up to these truths where they want the governments to be accountable for what has occurred over the past two years. They want to stop all the falsehoods that are coming out and the the agendas and the narratives that the news is reporting on okay 
similar thing that's happened here in Australia that's happening now in Ottawa up in Canada. Here we have, a, um, it's called Parliament House. It's in Canberra, which is Australia's capital city. On the news, it's saying 2,000 people are there and they're going to leave this weekend because today's Sunday. But when you watch the footage from the people who were there, it is very clear, A, they're not moving on. They're there with their camping sites, etc. They are there for the duration, like in happening in Ottawa on the total opposite side of the planet. But there's not 2,000 there. It's more like half a million people are there. I've seen the videos. I've seen the footage from people filming lives while they're there. And they put their camera up and it is phenomenal how many people are there. It spans for kilometres and kilometres where you can't move. It is that thick. So how can the media turn around and just say 2,000 people are there? Because they don't want us to know that we can actually stand up for ourselves and what we believe in. But that is now all crumbling. Okay. The cards have shown this over the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this card, especially today, love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy. So these people who are going to these gatherings, they're not violent. They're not forcing anybody to do anything against their will. <clears throat> like uh, the certain people in uniforms are. They're peace-loving people spreading the opportunity of what could be. So this card today is very relevant because last Sunday when I did my last week's tarot, these protests weren't very popular. But now we've got them happening all over Europe, Australia, New Zealand is organising one. America is organizing one, Canada, even up in South African and also Middle Eastern countries. They're all now virtually standing on the doorsteps of where these people operate from, if you know what I mean, a certain house that's white, <clears throat> that sort of place where they all go to. They're all going there en masse to say, we are not happy. So they are giving us an opportunity to work out if this isn't what's making you happy, what does? What do you want to happen to be loving, carefree, good society, um, law-abiding people in society? Okay. Now, this does represent in the next card, I already know what the card is because I got it this morning with Anna, right? We have one of the most powerful cards in the tarot. It is the five in the major arcana, and it is what some would call the Pope, the Hierophant. <clears throat> so I've got my book here with a ruler in it. Let's go and read what this guy says. The Hierophant may include um, indicate help from a wise, trusted person, such as a mentor, teacher, or religious figure. Usually one who is respected in the local community. Now, you've got to look at all these gatherings that are happening around the world right now. They are local communities all standing together to have the one uni unified cause, okay? But certainly someone who, whom the client holds in trust and high regard. Now, who is the client here? That's you and me. You know, anyone who's had that thing in the arm, we're clients, okay? Anyone who has lost their job because of the pandemic, you're a client. Anyone who um, didn't want to take the jab, so you lost your job, now you're sitting at home twiddling your thumbs trying to work out how to pay next week's rent, you're a client. Anyone has who has used any sort of Healthcare is a client, okay? So this isn't just client like somebody who's bought a product or a service. This is any consumer is the client and we're consumers, okay? 
This card frequently refers to large institutions such as hospitals, educational establishments and government offices. Governments, okay? Or large organisations. So this could be that um, PISA with a capital F, okay? It also suggests conformity and conventional set ways of working or thinking where it is difficult to implement change. You know how hard it is to change something in government? So I think this card is all about the government today, okay? It can be representative of following traditional values and moral ethics. I feel like just pausing right there, but I'll continue. Or the need to find a deeper meaning to life in the exploration of spiritual matters. Now, last Wednesday on our show with Mike Cavalli, which airs on Medium Mike Cavalli on Facebook at 7 o'clock Brisbane time, um, 7 p.m. Wednesday, that is, on Brisbane time. So work out the time difference if you want to watch it. The link is below if you do want to watch our show. But, you know, I was talking last week about how um, all this stuff is now unfolding, okay? This is a spiritual war where t everybody now is seeing through that veil, whether it's from the proton belt, photon belt, I should correct myself, the photon belt that we're going through, etc. People are now waking up to their true values, their true ethical standards, and most of all, their true self. People are now identifying who am I and what is it that is important to me. And that's why these people are now going out to these gatherings, okay? So, love would smile at every golden given opportunity as to spread joy. So, you know, you look at these protests, or should I say gatherings, <laughs> they're, not, they're not spreading hatred. They come in unity, acceptance of all. They don't judge. They're not accusing. They are just there being present, making their voices heard. So if you do hear on the media about people going and doing violence, that's not true. It's not true. You know, look at the footage and look at who is in there doing this. And you'll find that there are paid actors who are out there to incite this stuff. So the media, ironically, is there right at that time, by the way, to film it. So then it goes on the news to make out these are bad people. And they're not bad people. They are you and I trying to get our voices heard. So, love would smile at every given opportunity as to spread joy. This one today means that someone in a high position is coming to help us. <whistles> Wonder who it is. Wonder who it is. So now we go over to the lovely Louise Benton card. And surprise, surprise... It's a card that I've had maybe three times before. The Divinity card. I'll hold it up if you do want to go and have a little read of it first. Pause the screen so you can have a read. In eternity's womb there is a space suspended in a time and place. A realm of pure potential born. Merging spirit with manifest form. This means that people are waking up to what they were when they were in their solistic alignment before they came into this three-dimensional world. People are now getting back to that spiritualness of who they are. Out of the swirling misty darkness came first light from the primordial flame. The first ethereal emanations created the vessels for incarnation. Imbued with soul, each life was blessed, a myriad of forms expressed, a reflection of divinity, beauty, grace and majesty. An experience of individualization, enveloped, enveloped in sensual intoxication. 
ecstasy and pain combined, through jewel our souls refined. Now, when you look at ecstasy and pain combined, how true are those two words for right now? We're all going through it, right? We go from this high emotion of elation, happiness, and then the next minute we're down in total depression with what's going on around the planet. A world of malleable reality, a testing ground to awaken and see. We are all awakening, okay? Beyond the veils of separation and integrate and integrate the physical world with the spirit of creation. Embodiment of the creator's dream, invoking the most beautiful vision ever seen, to feel the true sacredness of earth and cherish all things as the new world was birthed. You know, how many people now are prophesizing that this is the new world that is coming in? It's the ability, obli- oh, start again. Governments are going to be abolished. How many people are saying we have to change the way of this world? You know, if you believe in aliens, I do, because I've seen a few. But that doesn't mean that your perspective is anything different. Okay, so I respect everyone's decisions here and their thoughts and their beliefs. But what I believe is these UFOs that are coming down, down now, they are here to help us to realign who we are. The segregation, you know, the word segregation was in here and separation. Segregation is massive at this point. You know, look at what Russia is now doing with Ukraine, that separation. The separation of the US with other countries. The separation of isolation and lockdown laws. So, well, they're not laws, they're only mandates, which aren't laws, by the way. But anyway, back onto track. What's happening now is these ones that are in charge, they are defending their right to be in that position at all cost. They don't want to lose the empire that they are creating. But it is crumbling. Okay, it is starting to crumble. The cards today are showing it. We are given opportunities to create what is new. We have somebody coming who is going to start changing all this. And the last line of Louise's card today, I dream the new world into being. So there's her card again if you do want to watch it and read it. So now we go over to the ruin. Let's have a look at what the ruin says today. It's my little stone with an X on it. Let me find it in my book. Where's my X? Make sure that there's no more that look like... No, it's not that one. It's not that one. Here, it's this one. This one is the gift stone. And I'll just quickly turn him around. It's this one here. It's called the Gift Stone. And I like showing the stone at the same time. Let me just hold him right so he doesn't fall out of my hand. There he is. So it's this one here. Okay. It's the Gift Stone. Let's read it. So it's called Gebo or Gabo. Gabo is the word. The symbol of gifts and giving. A very positive ruin indicating impending good fortune or a favourable outcome in relation to any, any undertaking currently underway. So how true is this for the rest of the cards that I've got today? So there's um, four points. One says it is a very good sign. Yay! Two, a signal that a gift or good fortune is about to manifest in your life. Good things are coming to those who believe. Correct? Could also indicate a new positive development in a partnership, either personal or business related. So we are getting positive developments. You know, all these people standing up now, it can't go unheard. So trust it, believe it, put your energy into these people and say, thank you for working on my behalf. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to go to work so you're there standing in my place. So you are creating this change that is coming. And the last point for the Gabo stone, which means gift, may be material or emotional gift being received. Now, let's look at emotional gifts. What is an emotional gift? It means happiness, 
joy, prosperity, abundance. Now, don't just think abundance as in wealth. Abundance can be health. Abundance could be happiness, good times, cheering with your friends and neighbours and your relatives, your loved ones, your family. This could be a gift of being able to see the true colours of others. So it's not a bad thing. Working out who you don't want in your tribe in the future. So you do form that place that is meant to be in your solistic alignment. So the cards this week, guys, very good news is coming. Behind the scenes, there are, pardon me, there are people working in the background who will soon come out and be there for us. So trust. Adore them. Send them good, loving energy. And don't send hate to the ones who you don't like. Don't lower yourself to their level. Raise yourself up and say, Thank you for showing me you are someone I don't want to be. Thank you for teaching me how I don't want to treat my own family or friends or children or my best friends. Thank you for showing me the life that I want to leave behind for future generations. So we always give love, always give that light, and most of all, give that hope that they can change their ways and become like you and I. Because this week, it's all coming out. Let's see, hey? <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to next week, seeing what's happening this week in the news. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today's tarot. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week, guys. Greatness is coming. And, you know, if, if you are sitting there and you think, wow, something didn't go right this week, consider what energy you're putting out there. Raise your vibration higher because those in a higher vibration, we are getting looked after. And the one thing here is sometimes bad things do happen to us to put us into that position in two or five months down the track where our life is even better than we expected it to be. So if something does happen that's bad, just allow it and say thank you for the opportunity of what is coming. See how all these cards interact? I love it. Have a great week, guys. Talk to you all next week. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.